Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I have some really stunning AI video news for you that will blow your mind. But before we get started with them, let's check out the best images from my Discord daily AI challenges. So here we have the first one, which is the topic abstract shapes and colors to express strong emotions. And it looks really cool. It has a little bit of a Rick and Morty vibe with the face and then artistic from the style. It's mixed between graffiti style and modern art, like a little bit the cubist Picasso style. So that is really nice. Also enjoy the combination of colors here. The next image from Tuesday is a world where everything happens at the same time, past, present and future. And you have a pretty interesting mix here between the classic medieval style, but then also you have, I think, like a robotic horse and it's at the same time looks a little bit like a apocalyptic scene. So there's really everything in here. Really enjoy that image. The next one is the topic parallel universe jousting tournament with robots and holographic displays pretty cool we don't have a horse in here so it's not actually jousting but probably this is the winner of the event it's pretty nice and cinematic i really like how big that winner is because of course he's a robot so he's much larger than the crowd around him and of course in the background you can see the advertisement for the event so really cool image also here then for Thursday, we have a Thor kind of inspired topic. So we have a legendary encounter between gods. So I would say one of them is Thor. The other one looks like Zeus. Not quite sure about that. Is it Odin? Write your own guess in the comments who are these two gods are. But the encounter looks pretty spectacular. Lots of motion and action in there. Lightning, thunder, dramatic clouds. Pretty amazing. Next, we have the topic miniature world looks really cool, like an actual photo from these little models where you have the trains running around with everything built small in plastic. So this looks actually pretty good. You could mistake that for an actual photo. The next topic is superhero of the new era. We have something between a Power Ranger and an alien, and he's also going to the sparkly Burning Man festival here. So that's also pretty cool, like the lightning, like the outfit, everything about that is really nice and cool. And on Sunday, we can relax and sleep longer with the topic a dream within a dream. And this really looks very cool, very cozy bed sleeping there. And then the dream world opening up in the backgrounds, lots of dream layers, a floating whale, maybe really cool scene. Thank you very much. And I hope you take part in the next week's daily challenges. So now it's time to check out the video AI news. And what you can see here is called the deep life cam. And the amazing thing here is it can create a deep fake with realistic lighting on the fake from just one image. You can use a webcam as an input and create that. It really looks like Elon Musk, the face, the light. The light on the face is absolutely stunning. My mind is very much blown by this. The future is going to be really crazy. And if you scroll a little bit lower, you can also see that you can install this on your own computer to try that for yourself if you go through all of these steps. Next, let's go to CG avatar. You can see here two examples on the screen that are really stunning. So there is a little bit of a difference here that it doesn't 100% look realistic sometimes, but you can see that it really transfers the motion of the face extremely well. And actually, it looks like animating a 3D model, even though this is using AI image generation for that effect. Down here, you can also see another example video showing the same effect, but done on a more photorealistic scene. And that again is extremely mind blowing. Now, of course, this also means in the future, take care, 
about deep fakes that you might see online from people who might call you. There's all these kind of love scams, things like that. I feel like in the future, we might have a lot of problems with this kind of thing. But on the other hand, for artists, for creators, for movie creators, this is a really stunning tool that is leading us into the future of creating much more impressive content in the future. And of course, you can imagine this as using it for fun as an avatar when you talk to other people in video games or just with your friends as a live effect. Really, really stunning. And just imagine what content creators that are really creative can do with this kind of technology. Next, let's check out some of these examples of a mix of mid-journey images and Flux One for video creation. This is really stunning. I would say the quality is at least as good as what we have seen on Runway or with other models like Kling or Sora. Of course, this is using an image input, but then again, the animations from this, the movement, the way the characters interact, react in these scenes is really stunning. It feels really lifelike. It is very hard to tell apart if this is a real video or it's a fake AI video. And keep in mind, this is still early development. This will improve a lot over time. And again, of course, this is going really hard into the future of creating your own movies to create the most beautiful artistic content. Another technology I want to show you here is called ReSyncer. That pride also extends into less glam. The reports, the former Secretary of Homeland Security. The reports, the former Secretary of Homeland Security was instructed. And what this does is, of course, it syncs the face to the audio input, especially the lip animation, but also the face animation so that everything fits well together. And you can see in these really stunning examples how well that works with this new technology. Of course, there's also other technologies, but it improves over time. And this is really interesting for having content in multiple languages. Because right now, you can, of course, only listen to me in English and then read the subtitles if you speak another language. But just as well, AI could create my voice and my face, my lip sync, my lip animation in any kind of language out there that can be generated with AI. And that's amazing because this has a completely new reach of information to anybody out there, regardless of how many different languages they know. And then lastly, I also want to show you two videos created with Runway. Now, again, here we have a character that has been animated by using Runway, which if you have looked at Runway, you know that the image input can also generate lip sync for these videos, which is really crazy. So as soon as you have a good animation for the character, you can use that animation to then lip sync it to create a full video or an AI influencer or whatever you want to do with that. And then we also have this video here. Now, Runway recently added the last frame image input, which means that you can generate a video based on an image, but you can present it as the last frame, meaning that you present the end result, not the starting point. And here in this amazing example of always generating, this shows you how you can create visual effects even with a green screen background by animating one image with Gen 3 as a full animation, even with time change in here. So this is really beautiful. And of course, it gives you a lot more variation of what you want to have, because usually it is pretty difficult to find these effects on stock pages or create them yourself. But now you can play around with different prompts to find the ideal effect you want to have for your movie. So overall, you can see that there is a massive improvement with video AI, especially when it comes to creating realistic characters and voice syncing. And of course, this has a risk of deepfake of 
fake information out there of influencing for example the upcoming elections but at the same time it has a much much bigger potential to bring information and knowledge to the people to create art to make movies to liberate the different technologies and art forms so that more people can express themselves and create amazing beautiful rich and deep art pieces with this technology and that of course is a future that i want to be in let me know in the comments what you think thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more see you soon bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um yeah